Hey guys, I'm <clears throat> I'm pulling the vacuum because I got to do a four ton compressor today. I'm not sure how that's going to go. My doctor called and said I have two broken ribs. Yeah, it took them about a week to read the <clears throat> X-rays. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this. But anyway, this is how I'm starting off my day. Here comes that video. I hope I can pull this compressor off. I thought I would add before y'all see this video that I do not put on a suction filter because this was a mechanical failure on the compressor and i did an acid test there was no acid in the system and i'm not changing the contactor because it was changed two months ago so i thought i would explain that before i get fussed at for not doing it here goes that video all right first we gotta kill power and recover the refrigerant and then take this thing apart so that's what i'm fixing to get going here we go All right, what y'all might see me doing here, um, I'm going to, I know I have a vacuum on this drum. I'm gonna make sure that I have, I'm gonna bleed these refrigerant lines, I mean, these hoses to make sure no air gets in my drum. And then we're gonna start recovering. All right, open it up. They had an electrical outlet over there and I tried to use it, but there's no power to it. That's why I'm using a cheater.
that thing still I don't know if y'all can see that all that ice down there that thing's still boiling off for you Before I go any further, I'm going to look this up and check 49,000 BTUs, that's a four ton, that's correct. And electrical, I want to check the capacitor see what I need I need a 70 oh, let's see. 208 230 single phase this is what I need just making sure before I install it I'm going to get some of this set up so I can get my nitrogen flowing looks like they've been replaced before expose your vacuum gauge to pressures and get oil on it you can ruin it so I'm going to put my vacuum gauge right here but right now we're just going to set up the nitrogen all right so we open this up set it on braze make sure this is open I'm gonna close off this suction. I'm gonna leave this port wide open. You have to leave one open. All right. That's it. I just got a little bit of nitrogen. <music>
all right guys i'm fixing to um charge this up with nitrogen i'm gonna do a bubble search and we're gonna make sure it holds I don't hear anything hissing. Still nothing. took a long time bracing so um, I may be low on nitrogen I'm gonna get this as high as I can and pressure test it all right let's see how we do after three minutes I have dropped just a little bit We are, you see I'm down to about 400 microns. I'm fixing to see how this holds. After about five minutes, that's where we are. We didn't get above a thousand. All right, now it's been even longer. So um, I'm fixing to, the reason I have this set up like this is so I can valve that off. I'm gonna put pressure to it before I put the Schraders in. That way I make sure there's no air getting in the system. All right, that's still turned off. All right, that's turned off. And I'm fixing that. This way I'm not getting oil and pressure on my vacuum gauge. Make 
sure that's tight. on that compressor uh, tried to show it from start to finish if y'all like the videos please like and subscribe and I'll have more coming soon see you on the next one